Well, Care First Blue Cross Blue Shield is looking to help educate and encourage Marylanders to get the coronavirus vaccine when they become eligible with an online pledge. And to date, more than 500 organizations have answered the call. Joining us this morning with more on that campaign is Vice President for Community Health and Social Impact at Care First. We have Destiny Simone Ramjohn. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having Care for Us, Jennifer. We're huge fans of your work. Oh, thank you so much. Well, you know, this is an amazing thing that you guys are trying to do to encourage people to get the vaccine. Can you explain it? Sure. You know, the foundation of the Better Together campaign is simple. Our community health depends on each of us playing our part in this historic national vaccine effort and getting vaccinated when we can. And Care First believes that the best way for all of us to get better is to do it together. So the Better Together pledge outlines how Care First and organizations across the Mid-Atlantic will protect the health of our communities through a series of coordinated actions, like a public health education and awareness campaign, community outreach, social media, and one major piece is our organizational and associate pledge, which will donate up to $1.7 million to support regional community organizations to achieve vaccination rates necessary to end the devastating impacts of this pandemic. Which is really incredible, and it really is an incentive for organizations to, to really try to encourage their employees to get the vaccine. And so what's involved with signing this pledge and, and what does it mean? Sure, so as part of the initiative, first we wanted to, to work within, right? So we've asked all 7,000 of our associates and our contingent workers to show their commitment to personal health and the health of those they love by signing a pledge. We've also extended that to our Better Together Community Organization Pledge. And to date, we have about 653 organizations. We're trying to get up to 1,000. So they will simply go to www.carefirst.com backslash better together and sign their commitment to ensure that we are reaching immunity because it takes a community. And so then how does the money get awarded? How do you decide who gets what and how much? Oh, Jennifer, we have three fantastic organizations around the mid-Atlantic state that we are investing in. These three organizations were selected because they are at the front lines of responding to the pandemic and ensuring that those populations who need the vaccine most have access to it. So the three organizations I'm proud to say are Casa de Maryland, United Way of the National Capital Area, and West Virginia Health Right. Casa de Maryland is a Latino immigration and advocacy assistance organization. The United Net Way of National Capital Area improves the lives of underserved individuals. And West Virginia Health Right provides quality comprehensive health care and education to nearly 28,000 West Virginians. So what I hope you see is that we've casted a broad and wide net and really again we can do this together with organizations like the ones I just mentioned. All right and how can people once again get involved in this pledge? We want each and every one of your audience members to take the pledge. That address that web address is www.carefirst.com backslash better together. All right thank you so much for joining us this morning really appreciate it. Thanks for having us we're better together take care Jennifer.